checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Just crypto lights here, we're back with another video, guys. We're gonna do another update on the P die token. Um on Pulse Chain, okay. I'll be doing a little bit more research about this project. Um, specifically uh, a project called Atropa, which I believe may be um, mostly responsible for the pumponomics on the PDI token. So there's a coin called Atropa, um, which you can see the PLS pair here. And there is a DAI uh, uh, a P day a P die uh, pairing as well but what we'll do is we'll invert that pair and you can see that this is actually outperforming the DAI token however as this outperforms that's basically bullish for the P die token it's almost like front running it because basically um, you know something to do with you know the like all the buys and sells and the liquidity and all that sort of stuff which is very thick at the moment um uh, that all goes to towards buying the pdi token to peg it to this you know pdi to a dollar which we're seeing everybody talking about okay guys um you know i talked about in my previous video that we were around a 350x pub away from P die go to a dollar. I also said that um, you know, unlike the original Ethereum die, um, which is a stable coin, okay, at a dollar. Um, I said that P die doesn't have a team managing it that's going to keep that peg. I don't know how these things work. I don't know how stable coins work. How they keep the peg? How do you do all of that sort of stuff? I'm not um, a whiz kid like that, but. Perhaps I was wrong about that. I could be wrong about that because with a tropa, there's a possibility that uh, this could be the stable coin or the main pulse chain stable coin from videos that I've seen of Richard Hart talking about certain things about stable coins and stuff like that. He wants a main stable coin for pulse chain, and this could potentially be be it some people are speculating that richard hart could be behind this i'm not saying that's true but um by the rumor sell the news i guess okay guys but with the p die token okay you can clearly see that the price is pumping this actually looks to me like a cup and handle okay and um i knew we we're gonna get well i believe that we we're gonna get the breakout and we are getting the breakout uh or well not quite it looks like it might come okay guys so people are clearly holding on to this token and accumulating it the volume is looking bullish okay guys liquidity is looking very good as well so we could see a blue sky breakout on this particular token p die okay guys but again if we look at a tropa a tropa is pumping as well uh parabolic breakout on a tropa okay again that is bullish for p die we also see um, liquidity bonding with other pairings like Teddy Bear, for example, is a meme coin that uh, there's a lot of speculation on right now. A lot of people are going to be talking about it anyway if they're in the Pulse Drip ecosystem because basically you have the Teddy Bear which they've added to the Pulse Garden. All right, guys. A Tropa is also in the Pulse Garden. And um, of course, uh, P. Dyke. Okay, another one is the Pulse Chain Wrapped BTC, okay, which has an Atropa pairing as well. If we go to the PLS pairing, uh, you'll basically see that, um, you know, just like PDI, this has been pumping a little bit, not as crazy as PDI, okay, but if we go to Wrapped uh, BTC PLS pair, uh, the wrap BTC pair did have a pump and a pullback and now it started to climb again. So basically it pumped from about $40 to, uh, all the way up to $164. Now it's, now it's sitting at around $126. So, you know, the pulse chain ecosystem looks to be taken off. And if we position ourselves in the right tokens and the right pairings, okay, because a lot of people would have originally, initially looked at these tokens as worthless copies, okay. 
people like myself. Um, there's always going to be some value there, okay? You know, unless it goes, unless it's zero, okay? But uh, what is the potential that you could basically get a, for example, a Bitcoin bull run all over again on a completely different ecosystem? These are complete forks, okay? It's the biggest, what is it? The biggest uh, airdrop ever. Uh, Richard Hart fought the whole Ethereum ecosystem, or most of it anyway. And, um, you know, what we're seeing is people are actually buying this, which gives it a value. People are saying, you know what, this is worth something to me. So, you know, Bitcoin, OG Bitcoin, is currently sitting at, you know, 25, 26, whatever, okay, thousand. You know, maybe it's worth buying a couple of <laughs> a couple of uh, a Bitcoin over on Pulse Chain for one hundred and twenty six dollars and just holding it and see what happens, because in the bull run you just never know. Okay, in fact, this actual Bitcoin went all the way. If we, if let's forget about the wick. Okay, it went to five hundred twenty two dollars. Okay, um, and that's from a twenty dollar price point or just below so that is bullish okay what's the potential for that to to pump okay just you know post chain ecosystem goes absolutely nuts everyone starts buying anything and everything on post chain you make your gains this is where you you make your gains okay obviously with the uh, p die okay and price is pumping okay but you know will this get to a dollar um, I think it's possible now with a tropa. I think that 350x, probably a little bit less than that at the moment, but, you know, it's possible, okay? It's not 10,000x, okay? It's 350x. Ask yourself, is that possible? A tropa, this has the potential to go absolutely crazy. The market cap right now is 28.9 million. This is a potential... 100 200 300 half a billion market cap project just based on what it's doing based on the fomo that i think it could potentially get later on down the line or even in the immediate term as you can see it is going parabolic and people like to buy these pumps okay this volume is looking very bullish what's the potential for a tropa Okay, teddy bear, uh, you know, breakout. Okay, this is making new highs as well. This is a 10 million market cap. This has just gone up all of a sudden from like a 100k market cap. Right now, sitting at 10 mil. Okay, so already there's 100x. Okay, is that 100x? 100x already on this particular token. Crazy gains, guys. So, you know, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking. You know, should I pick up some, some, some BTC? Okay, another one. Um, you know, chain link, for example. If we go to the link PLS chart, it doesn't have an atrope pairing, by the way. But um, you know, I think that that will be bullish as well. Let's have a look what chain link is doing. Chain link is sitting at the lows. You know, so. I think people are going to start speculating. They're going to be looking at all these different tokens, the Ethereum, sorry, the, the copies over on Pulse Chain and looking at the potential for it because the, the tokenomics are the same. They're literally just copies on Pulse Chain. The tokenomics are the same. So the Chainlink token and the Pulse X token, uh, the Pulse X link, uh, sorry, the, the Ethereum link and the Pulse X link or the Ethereum wrap BTC and the Pulse X wrap BTC. The only thing different is liquidity and price okay which gives it a lot of potential with the with the low liquidity in these pairings right 25k in chain link right yes it says that 18.4 million market cap but just imagine 18 million for example goes into chain link it's going to be more than a 2x okay that's going to be you know <laughs> multiple x's okay because there's only 25,000 in liquidity, okay? Obviously, if you go through all of the pairs, it might be a little bit more than that, but there's no way there's $18.4 million in liquidity going through 
the Chainlink PLS token altogether, right? So you have to kind of look at it that way, okay? But I don't know, guys. I want you to let me know what you think in the comments, okay? That's really all I've got for you in this video. So, um, yeah, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. I will see you in the next video.